see how it uh, see how it went down. And uh, this is what we in the biz call an establishing shot. But we're going to get things going right now. Still 0-0 at this point. What a back cut by Cockerton. He finds the back of the net. 1-0. Sheets. Harbison got a slide to him or he'll punish you. That would make it 2-0. Things looking a little bit like they might get out of hand, but then Westberg has the answer as he collects this one and finishes top shelf. That would make it two to one. Still two to one at this point. Then Eric Law ties the game at two. Last year's MVP did a one-on-one -on -one in the pregame with him. Nice guy. Guys. One more time here for Eric Law as he finds Bachman for the go-ahead goal. That would make it three to two outlaws. Three two at this point. Peter Bob to Connor Canizero as he puts it in the back. That one, Eric Law as he shoots off his defender once again. Three goal lead for the outlaws. Then Matty Cavanaugh to West Bird. Bird with the Hattie on that one. Now Peter Bond starting things off for the machine. He's from way outside. Big L, Big R on the scout as he stops the bleeding for the machines. Kyle Harrison with Alex from deep. Absolute laser beam, just a step inside two-point territory. That would cut the lead to two. Peter Baum again with the long-range shot. That would make the lead one as we head into the final frame. Still nine to ten in favor of the Outlaws. Matt Cavanaugh, call him Mr. Clutch, because he he came to play tonight. Two-goal lead for Denver. Connor Canizero, he's got an answer to the bell, but comes up a little gingerly, he would return. One goal lead. Cavanaugh again with his fourth of the night, bidding for the MVP. See if they can hold on. Two goal lead for Denver. But Jake Bernhardt decides he wants to see his name on the score sheet as he hits absolute laser on the side arm shot. Greg Piskolgin, zero goals in the regular season, one in the championship game, one in the semis. That ties things up at 12. Let's take another look at this one. Not even really known for his face-offs, and he finds the back of the net, although he was at 44% tonight. Big time rip from Marcus Holman. Give him time, space, room. He will make you pay. That would make it 13-12. Now once again, Marcus Holden. Toss your hats, that's three for him. Sidelines excited, so am I. But you, if you look at this one, as Marcus Holden keeping things low and he's feeling himself at this point. But a miscommunication gives Denver the ball back once, uh, sorry, Ohio the ball back once again. Great look. There's Marcus Holden. That's his fourth on the day. That would make it 14 to 12. Watch out, the machine is rolling. Dare I say, Firing on all cylinders. Connor Canizero adding a little salt to the wound. That would make it 16 to 12 in favor of the Sheens. They would go on to win 17 to 12. Quite a run to finish this game. Marcus Holden picking up MVP honors with four and three. What a finish.